Shalom to everyone. We're learning today Shi'ur Zeda Shimshon Parashad Mishnei. Uh, sponsor of our Shi'ur tonight is Mr. Emmanuel Gurgov and uh, a cook for an amazing, amazing menu is Mr. Ovadze Sezanayev. Thank you guys for your support. Cool, and cool. thank you everyone for coming with beautiful crowd today and Hashem should help us to have this crowd and even bigger every time. Amen. There is few loves in this world. One type of love between husband and wife and there's one type of love between Hashem and a Jewish nation. Oh, 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 oh. This love is so strong that sometimes we just forget about it or we don't take it, we take it for granted. We don't understand the value of love, how Hashem loves Jewish nation. And today, Be'ezad Hashem, with Zerah Shimshon, we will get it a little deeper. Because in the Haftarah of Parasha Mas'ei, is brought from Yirmiyahu. And it says over there like this. Ma matz'u avotechem bi? Hashem says, what did your forefathers find in me avel that I did wrong that they went away from me they stood far away from me they went after like nothingness emptiness and they became empty Hashem is asking Jewish nation my nation, what I did wrong to your forefathers that they went away from me after emptiness and they became empty. Good question. Right away, Zerah Shimshon attacks this and says, you know who talks in this language, what I did wrong to you, person. Person says to his friend, what I did wrong to you that you upset at me. You know why? Because person does wrong. Sometimes we do wrong. Hashem does wrong? Mm -hmm. Never. So what kind of language is this? How can Hashem say, what I did, Avel, what I did something wrong to you? Hashem never does wrong. What kind of question is this? Mama tzu avotechem bi Avel ki alai. Hashem says, what did your fathers, forefathers, so I did wrong that they stood far away from me? Kasha, ech sal kedatech lomar shakadosh baruch yesh Avel chas v'shalom. How can... Hashem say, I did something wrong. What, Hashem has something wrong to do? Chas v'shalom. He can't say that. Hashem is perfect. He has never mistakes. V'shlomar. And we could give the answer like this. We have found in Shulchan Aruch Yoredea, chapter 236, law 6. Shnaim shenish be'ula asot davar echad. Two people. They're going to business deal. Business deal. And they said, swear to me that you're not going to go back from the deal. Give a word. We both going to the, what's the business deal? For example, we both will open 99 cent store, partnership. Swear to me that you'll not back down the word. They know the conditions, everything. And he says, I swear to you, I'm not going to back down. Second one says, I swear to you, I'm not going to back down. They both swore. Are they allowed to back down? No. Yeah. Second case. A boy and a girl going out. Boy and a girl going out. Boy says to the girl, swear to me that you'll marry me. No matter what. You'll see I have Zahmad, you have Zahmad, I have anger issues, you have anger issues. We argue, we throw chair on top of each other. Sometimes we throw tables, whatever. In the end of the day, swear to me that you'll marry me. And she says to him, you swear to me that you're going to marry me. And they swear to each other. Are they allowed to back, up, back down on the deal? Yes. Huh? Yes. Are they allowed to back down on the deal? No. Let's see. Let's see how yes and how much yes and if not at all. Shnaim shenishbul asot davar echad. Two people swore to each other to do one thing. Ve'avar echad mehem. One of them went back. Back of the deal. Allah shivua. He went back and the swear that he swore. Hasheni patur ve'eno tarich atara. He says I swear. He says I swear. He says I swear. He goes back from the deal, 
I don't need to go to rabbi to do atarat nadarim. I don't need to go to take away my swear. Why? Because once he undo his swear, automatically my promise also goes away. My swear goes away. Lefikach therefore, ishu isha shenit shenish tadchu zelazel. Husband, a uh, boy and a girl, they became shiduch. They made engagement. They made engagement. Week later, they have their wedding. Okay? Vekiblu cherem. Linase lizman kavuo. They made swear that this day we are getting married. Like, let's say, October 20, uh, November 10. November 10, we're getting married. Finished. Once the time passed, one of them is not allowed to marry another one. They have to marry to each other. They swore to each other. You just told me, if the time passes, I did not keep my word. You don't have to keep your word. You can do whatever you want. You don't need that. Now you're telling me I'm not allowed to marry. Well, I'm not allowed to marry if, if, if they didn't, the wedding didn't happen, so let me marry somebody else. Look what happens. Boy and a girl. Boy says to the girl, you know what? I don't want to marry you. They come says, I don't want to go to the chuppah today. I don't want to marry you. He backs off the deal. Day passes. They didn't get married. Since he back off the deal, can she get married to somebody else now? Yes. The answer is yes. Why? He broke, he, he broke his swear. Once he went off the deal, she's allowed to marry somebody else. Breach of contract. Kak -kak? Breach of contract. Breach of contract. of contract. What does that mean? Didn't keep his word. Ah, uh, broke the contract. Breach of contract. Okay. Well, mutar, when you tell Katara, the Gamma Makeva, it's more mutar la her. Shena Sakenegdo. Omikomakom, this shed a Kenegdo, Imlota, Lifton at Small Mishuato, Yelech etzel Kaham Vatilo. But still. He went off the deal. I could go to Chacham and take away my swear. Shema zeshe avila moed ve'akav yavi edim shaya be'ones. Maybe, maybe. Now we said boy and a girl, right? Boy said, "I don't want to marry you." She, girl, is allowed to marry somebody else, right? Still, she has to go to the rabbi and take away her swear. Why she has to take away swear? Nullify her swear. Why? Because maybe tomorrow after she gets married to somebody else, he will come with two witnesses. He's going to say, listen, you know why I said no to you? Because two people put gun on my head. Mm. I mean, I was scared. I didn't want to die. They put gun on my head and they said, listen, if you say yes right now, I'm going to kill you. She says, no, I don't want to marry you. But he was, he was forced. He was out of, out of fear, under pressure. That he wanted to say no. So once he's under pressure, we understand him. We understand the situation. Once he was under the pressure, she just can't get married to somebody else unless she goes to the rabbi. Rabbi nullifies her swear. Once the swear is nullified, now she's free. Even there was pressure, no pressure, we don't care because rabbi took it away from the beginning and the swear is gone. And she's allowed to marry. Shem evil Hamoed and look inside also later on in Parsha Vayelech. Ukvar Israel. Ukvar Israel nishbu la Kadosh Baruch Hu la Kaim Mitzvotau. Now, boy and a girl with discussed already. Now let's go back to second couple. Who? Hashem and Jewish nation. You have no idea. There's no love between husband and wife in the world 
how Hashem loves Jewish nation. There is no love between father and son in the world, how Hashem loves Jewish nation. Even mother to the son or to the daughter. How Hashem loves is stronger. Hashem loves us beyond our comprehension. No matter what we do, no matter what we commit, no matter how much we fail, no matter how much we went against Him, we rebelled against Him, we come back to Him, Hashem says, you know what? Come, Bachim, come, my son, I still love you. I still wait for you. I was waiting for you longer than you think. Come here, the door is open. I accept you. I was waiting for you. I, ran, I made the whole world run upside down just for you to come back to me. I made this happen, that happened, this happened, that, that, just for you to come back and return here. Everything, nothing happened for no reason. Everything has a reason. The smart person learns from this, thinks about it, and breaks through with this. Grows with it. Already Jewish nation, they swore to Hashem. Hashem, we swear to you, we're going to keep your mitzvot. We will never do idol worshipping. We swore to Hashem. Hashem says, you swear to me, I will swear to you. you. What? Hashem says, I will never change you to a different nation, to another nation. Hashem says, I will never let you go away. I will never throw you. I will always grab into you. No matter what you do, Hashem said to Jews, look at this, what's going on here? We swore to Hashem, we will keep your mitzvot. Hashem swore to us, what? That He will never let us go. Let us go. Didn't he want to destroy us? Do you see the love Hashem has so towards technically, us? technically, we could broke the <coughs> contract also. This is where we're going right now. I love the way you always, from the beginning, towards the middle, you already know what will be the end. And every time you guess, to the point. Let's go. And this is exactly what the Pasuk means. Bishlama, it's good. Im keshe nitrachaktem. Mimenu. If we went away from Hashem, va avartem. Ala shevua. We went against the swear. That we broke the deal, bridged the, we bridged the contract. We did not keep our words to Hashem. Hayagam hu mitrachek mikem. So once we said to Hashem, we don't want to be married to you. It could be Hashem also went away from us. The way a guy says to the girl, I don't want to marry you. What happens? She says, you know what? Why? You don't want to marry me. I'll go find somebody else, right? Right or wrong? Yeah, right. Kmo Noten, shalom utarve eno What the law requires. Once the guy says to her, I don't want to marry, she's allowed to marry somebody else, and she doesn't need to go to rabbi. As I am utar lachem loosif, ulit lachem mimenu. So then, once we said to Hashem, we don't want to marry you, we could have go also and be far away from him. Shale afa ma'akev atzmo mutar. Since we were the ones who stopped the marriage between us and Hashem by doing golden calf, right? Hashem says, okay, you did it? Bye, now I go somewhere else. And you go find yourself somewhere else. Hashem says, you know what? You cheat on me, I'm not going to cheat on you. Hashem says, I swore to your forefathers, I still grab onto you. I still care about you. It says in the Midrash, Look, Hashem says, Look into the history book. Look into the Torah. The Torah is not a history book. I says, Look back. Everything I swore to your forefathers, I did not keep. Check if I didn't keep. I says, I swore to them, I will bless their kids. I did not bless you. I will take it out of Mitzrayim. I didn't take it out of Mitzrayim. And I always said, I will take it out of Mitzrayim rich. I did not take it out of Mitzrayim rich. Loki Yanti, Hashem says, I did not fulfill. So what did your forefathers see in me that I did wrong? That they went away from me after emptiness. Even though I kept my word. Even though I kept my word. This is what Pasuk is saying. 
כאישה עזובה ועזובת רוח קרח השם. השם says, I will call you like a woman who was abandoned. תרון אווי. כאישה עזובה ועזובת רוח. And like who lost her spirit? Karach Hashem. Hashem is calling you. Ve'eshet nurim ki tima'es. Amar Elohecha. Hashem says the wife of a young age. Don't throw away. Don't push her away. Hashem says, your God. Umau lashon azuva v'azuvat ruach. So what does that mean? You are thrown away woman who is thrown away spirit. What does that mean? Ela lefi shemin adin. According to the law, when men and women, they swear to each other, to get married to each other, the one who stops the wedding, he's not allowed to marry another person. Why? You swore you got to keep your words. It's not so simple. Boy said to the girl, I'll marry you, I swear to you. She says to you, she, she says to him, I will, I'll marry you, I swear to you. When? January 10, January 15, they're not married. Why? He says to her, I'm not going to marry you. She is allowed to marry somebody else even without Laba's permission. Don't go to, why? Because he broke the deal, not her. She was the? Contract breaker. Breach of contract. Breach of contract. I like that. One second now, what's going on here? One second. The man is, it's as if Hashem doesn't have no body, okay? Hashem has no body, no physical body. Is, man is compared to a man. And the woman is compared to the Jewish na nation. Man is compared to Hashem. And the woman is like a Jewish nation. Vishlal akvo. She saru me'achare Hashem. Jewish nation stopped the wedding. They said, you know what? Hashem is here. We'll turn around from Hashem. We'll go there. And they did what? Golden? Yeah. Golden calf. Who stopped the wedding? Jewish nation. A woman stopped the wedding. Who is the woman in this case? Jewish nation. Jewish nation. Vlo'al akvo And they did not follow Hashem's path. Vehem ha'asurim le'inase la'acher. Hashem says, you the one who broke the deal, you're not allowed to go marry somebody else. Means what? You're not allowed to go for yourself uh, looking for different God. There is no God. Don't go after what people call God, which you know there is no God. But really, with the law, permission of the law, Hashem could say, you know what? You cheat on me, I'll throw you and I'll, I, I can take a different nation. Fair deal. I just said, I could throw you and take different nation now. Therefore, the Pasuk says, you like a woman who is thrown. What does that mean? You can't marry anybody else anymore. You're stuck. And I could marry somebody else, Hashem says, but I will still not marry. This is how Hashem loves us. When men saw that she stopped the wedding, Henicha. And he didn't marry somebody else. He's still his heart towards her. He still thinks about her. He still loves her. This is how Hashem loves Jewish nation. Therefore, she is considered abandoned. abandoned. And also, she is said spiritually, said, said spirit. Broken spirit because she cannot marry somebody else. Because she's still in the swear. Don't forget this statement in life. Even though you sinned, you still Israel. Hashem says, even though you abandoned me, you still belong to me. You can't marry anybody else. You're stuck and I love you. And I still wait for you. Hashem is always waiting for us to come back. He loves us. He says, even though you sinned, Israel, you know what happened? 
Ah, beautiful, mashallah. Right on the spot. There was a rabbi in the classroom. Students were there. He took $100 bill from the pocket. He says, guys, who wants it? Fifth grade, what happened? All the guys, me, 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 me. He says, you know what? Scrumbled. Who wants it? He says, me, 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 me. He says, why? Still $100. He took, put on his legs and starts smashing $100 bill. He says, no, who wants it? Still me, me, me. He says, guys, why? He says, no matter how much it's smashed, it's still $100 bill. No matter how much Satan beats us up, Hashem says, Hashem says, I still want you back. Why? Because you're still Jewish soul. Do you know if person who is Torah scholar, he holds with the Sefer Torah and he falls, you first pick him up and then Torah up? Because Sefer Torah, Hashem's name is written on the skin of an animal. A Jew, Hashem's name is written on the skin of a Jewish person, on the heart of a Jew. Animals, skin is never more than person's skin. Jew has a personal respect. This is why everybody hates us. Why? We have dignity. Problem is, we don't appreciate this ourselves sometimes. Hmm. If we know our value, we'll never be said. If you know who you are, if you know how much Hashem changes world every single day, takes your enemies away, away from you, makes them be busy with different things, just because of you, you will never be said ever in your life. Anything you'll see in life, you say, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Why? Because Hashem runs the world only for Klal Israel. Why? Because we're a wife. We're not a servant. We're not a maid servant. We're not a dirty worker. We are his children. Beni Bechori Israel. Not only children, a firstborn. Hashem says, Jewish nation is my firstborn. No matter what you do, how much mistakes you make, come back, I'll wait for you. But don't take play games with this. Come back and come back for good. Stick to it. Stick with me. And I'll protect you from everything and everyone and always. Even though you sinned, you're still hundred dollars. You're still Israel. You have that neshama. Gemara Sanhedrin, page forty-four, a. The Aziz Yim Vamar, and because of and, and uh, regarding this, it's finishing and saying, Eshet Neurim Kitim As, a a woman of a young age. How can you, how can you, like, Tim As Maus disgust. Woman of, of, of a young age, you made disgusting. Turn off. Hashem says, if from the law you kept your promise, I would never have disgusting feelings towards you. I would never have disgusted towards you. Hashem has no feelings. Hashem is talking to us like a husband talking to the wife. But Hashem says, that's disgusting when... From beginning of the wedding, standing from Har Sinai, you just get the Torah. Forty days later, you go, you do golden calf. A wife who's cheating from under the chuppah. Come on, that's that's unbelievable. That's impossible. Aval, im kolze, lo inachti otcha. Hashem says, no matter what you did, even you did that, I still didn't let you go. I did not exchange you to a different nation. And even though you, you would be, you would be even if I would marry somebody else, Hashem says different nation, then you would be free from swear anyway. Then you would get married somebody else. Because Hashem says, if I would take different nation, then you would be allowed to marry different nation. Hashem says, I let you go only for split second. I got upset at you, I threw you and I right away took you back. This is how a person has to educate his children. This is how you have to argue with your wife. You guys argue, split second. I forgive you, you forgive me, case closed, you go on. Next. You don't stay with arguments long. 
אלא ברגע קטן עזבתיך, ומיד ברחמים גדולים עקבתיך. I let you go for a split second, and with a great mercy, I hugged you, and I brought you back to me. And I got you back. This is how a teacher has to rebuke his students. Split second, and you continue being friendly again. Next. ולמה הקדוש ברוך הוא לא החליפם? I don't understand. Why Hashem did not exchange us? Yeah, guys, you with me? Yes. למה הקדוש ברוך הוא לא החליפם? Three more minutes. This three minutes is a bottom line of the whole life of Jewish nation. No refund policy. No refund policy. Why? That's the whole question. Why? למה הקדוש ברוך הוא לא החליפם? Why Hashem did not exchange us? מפני שהדין נותן שאם האישה... דהיינו המעכב יביא עדים דאנוסו אז אין לו מותר שכנגדו לעבור על השבועה. Because the rule is if woman who stops the wedding and she says you know why I stopped the wedding because there were two people holding gun on me. I was forced to stop the wedding. I was forced to go and do Avodah Zarah what I did. To do golden calf. I was forced to do that. I didn't want to do that out of free will. I was forced to do that. Ah, Hashem says, you were forced. Va'azze b'shetzev ketzev istarti. Panay rega mimcha. Hashem says, just because you were forced, I took away my, my image from you. And therefore, I returned right away back to you. Why? Because I knew you were forced. ומיד בחסד עולם לחמתיך. And right away, with a great abundance. I, I had mercy towards you. V'kash elam amar b'chesed olam. Why it says with the, with the, with the, with the yes. kindness of the world. What does that mean? V'od ma shayach acha shuat amabul ki mei noach zot li. Hashem says, you know why I get back to you? Because of the waters of noach that was to me. What does it do with the waters of noach here? This lomar. Huh? Yetzer Hara. Me and you were made from flesh and blood. Yetzer Hara is made from fire. Let's go. Last two minutes. And then we'll enjoy our Suhuda today. And it's worth it. I think today's Zerah Shemshon was also so tasty. So juicy. Like coming up our food base. Hashem. Thank you, Rao Wadja. Thank you, Nabi Emanuel. Thank you. Thank you for your support. You did amazing thing today. When people gather to learn Torah... Every spoon they eat is korban. Is korban. Is bringing sacrifice to Hashem. Why? Because you did it with Talmud Torah. Talmud Torah is a big thing in, law, in the world. Hashem says, you say a mitzvah, you say a bracha, that is a kiss. When you learn Torah, it's a hug. Hug! You get direct hug from Hashem. Nothing in life you can get happiness more than this. Mesh Lomar. The answer is, the Parashat Noach, by, by Parashat Noach, it says, Ki yetzer lev adam ramin urav. The yetzer hara from the heart of person's body is evil from his childhood. From the childhood, yetzer hara is already stronger than you. You're not even bar mitzvah, you never put filin already. Your yetzer hara is a long beard, he's much older than you, and he's much stronger than you. He's ready to knock you down anytime you grow up. Huh? Ubishvil ze, ki de shelo la akhriva olam, kama paamim nishba, ki shba shelo yavi od mabul. And because of this, Hashem, not to destroy the world again, because knowing what yetzer hara has powers, Hashem swore many times not to bring again the Mabul, the flood. Ya'an b'nei adam anusim hem mi Yitzram. Because we are forced through the force of Yetzer Hara, evil inclination. The Iwu the Nura va'anan the Bisla. Because Yetzer Hara is made from the fire and we're made from the flesh and skin. It says Gemara Kiddushim, page 81a. Ve'avkan yomru Yisrael anusim ha'inu be'yitzrenu. And even here, after Golden Cave, Jewish nation said, we were forced by Yetzer Hara. Oma she'ekvenu eno klum. And this word we tried to stop didn't help. We atayachol achalifenu, and therefore Hashem, you cannot change us to different nation. Va'alze, because of this Torah says what? Ubechesed olam racham'ticha, and with the great abundance, with the with the kindness of the world, I had mercy towards you. Kshem shekiyam. Why it says the world? 
Because Hashem says, the no, way I swore can. not to do the flood again to destroy the world. With the same kindness, I understand you when you did golden calf. Because I swore not to destroy the world because of Yetzer Hara, it happened. Why? Because, because I got this from the Noah's of the Noah's waters or days of Noah. Ken nishbati mikotzov alechu mikarbecha, and therefore I swore to you not to destroy you and not to get angry to you. Yaan anusa at beitzrecha. Hashem says, I know you are forced by your yetzer hara. So therefore, now it's coming month of Av. Av stands for two letters. Aleph bet. Aleph stands for arur, arur, and bet stands for baruch. Month of Al has two sections. Section number one from first till fifteen, which is sad days. Section number two from fifteen to thirty, which is happy days. First fifteen days is cursed ones, and second fifteen days blessed ones. So we, Bezad Hashem, with our learning Torah, with Hashem knowing our Yetzirah, we should take into Torah and Mitzvot stronger and turn the whole month into Baruch, Baruch Adonai Olam. Amen. Amen. Thank you and good night.